working with Prince is how I actually got into the tech world in a serious business way. And he was obviously an extraordinary artist, but as a businessman, he used to say, if you don't own your masters, your masters own you. Mm -hmm. And when we see so many artists today, like Jay-Z and all these incredible artists who own their own stuff, they'll mm -hmm. all say it was because they were talk to Prince. Yeah. And he was he was an evangelist for that, for these younger artists. People will talk about Prince a lot, like you said, as far as being one of the greatest musicians of all time, but I'm a huge Nas fan. And um, I remember Nas was on a, another podcast, Strength Champs, and he was talking about when he first met Prince and um, years ago, like in 99, and he asked Prince to, um, to do a record with him. And Prince told him, he was like, um, do you own your masters? And Nas said, no, I don't own my masters. And he was like, when you own your masters, we can have a conversation. Wow. And he was like, that <laughs> cool. really inspired yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like being around Prince, how, how was he as far as a, a, the business acumen, the business side of things? Ex extraordinary, man. I remember I had a conversation with him one time in his office, just the two of us. He said, look, let me tell you something. He said, I usually end the show playing Purple Rain. He said, within an hour, I don't care if I'm playing in front of 200 people or if I got sold out at, at, at the stadium. I know how many T-shirts were sold. Hmm. I know how much merchandise was sold. I know how many Coca-Colas were bought. Yeah. We, we spoke about that when we were talking. I think it's like our very first episode, right? When we talked about how innovative he was when he was packaging tickets, merchandise, all these things uh, at the vendings. Um, all package it all together as one thing and how now that's the standard 20 years later like people are just realizing like what he set forth exactly i mean you think about subscriptions now netflix and everything else he created the, the new power generation music club mm -hmm. in the late 90s where you'd pay nine dollars a month or whatever it was and then you get music and you get merch and everything else he created that that's crazy yeah yeah man. so before streaming before it was apple music before was any of that so my